How many days a week should you strength train? Can you lift twice a week and see muscle growth, or do you need to train six times a week and see muscle growth and strength? To address this question, we have to address both volume and frequency. So today I'll present the research on volume and frequency and leave you with practical takeaways on how often and how much to train each muscle group. So first of all, the literature is very contradictory when it comes to volume and frequency. Some literature shows that as little as one set per week will build muscle, whereas other studies show that you need 10 plus sets per week to optimize muscle growth. The studies on frequency are also inconsistent. Some studies show that frequency doesn't matter as long as volume is equated, whereas other studies show that frequency matters more than volume. So there's a lot of mixed opinions on this. I want to discuss some literature and I'll leave you with my opinion on what is best for the modern woman. So first let's talk about volume. Volume is how many working sets or hard sets per muscle group per week. A hard set is taking an exercise a few reps shy of failure or to failure in under 30 repetitions. If you are doing more than 30 repetitions in a single set, that is not a set that will be very effective for muscle growth. Here is what some of the literature suggests about volume. We'll start by discussing a study that showed that minimal volume can produce significant gains. The participants had one year of training experience and did one set per muscle group twice per week and did about 8 to 12 reps per set. The groups either went all the way to failure or went two reps shy of failure. So they were doing hard sets twice per week. They had meaningful increases in both strength and muscle. This goes to show that time efficient single set routines done twice a week can produce results even in resistance trained individuals as long as you're training to failure or about two reps shy of failure. So just for example, this would mean, okay, you're doing two workouts per week. And in each of those workouts, you're doing one set for every muscle group in your body. So one set of chest presses, let's say, one set of a lunge variation, one set of a shoulder exercise, one set of a tricep exercise, blah, 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 all the way throughout your whole body. And you're just doing that two times per week on a non-consecutive days. So low volume or low sets per week can produce meaningful strength gains as long as you're training to failure or close to failure. So low volume may not be the best way to optimize muscle growth if you're in a hurry to build a lot of muscle, but it is a great time efficient and realistic training routine to make slow but steady gains. What if you want muscle growth really quickly, or if you have unlimited time and energy and you can recover from a lot and you really want to quote unquote optimize? So higher volume or more sets per week can provide greater muscle growth than lower volume. One study showed that 12 to 20 hard sets per week provided more muscle growth, so about 3 to 8% more than 8 to 12 sets per week. So that's 12 to 20 sets for every single muscle group, quads, glutes, abs, shoulders, chest, biceps, triceps, hamstrings, all of the muscle groups. That's a lot of work. So realistically, that would take a really long time. Your workouts would be very long and very tiring. It may also be really hard to recover from 12 to 20 sets per week. Trained lifters may take about four days to recover from a workout in which they do six to eight sets per muscle group in that workout, while it takes maybe less than three days to recover from a workout in which you're doing four to five sets per muscle group in that workout. So although high volume may build more muscle, you really have to consider the time commitment and how you can recover because if you feel broken down, that's not a routine that you can sustain. This is why I like to be somewhere in the middle of those two volumes, about four to eight sets per week per muscle group. So four to eight sets for glutes, four to eight sets for quads, four to eight sets for chest, et cetera, throughout every major muscle group in your body. This allows your workouts to be shorter and easier to recover from, so you're not getting sidelined with injuries, and the workouts are easier mentally to show up for, which is really important for consistency. I find that four to eight sets per week is a really good sweet spot for the modern woman who also should be adding cardio into your routine. So we recommend 150 minutes of light to moderate intensity cardio and potentially one 
15-ish minute HIIT workout every single week. So if you're doing really, really high strength training volume and trying to add in all your cardio, it's not only going to take a lot of time, but it's going to be harder to recover from, which is why I love the volume of four to eight sets per muscle group per week. And we'll talk about frequency or how often to work those muscle groups or how to kind of disperse them into your workouts here in a moment. So That volume, that four to eight sets per muscle group per week is not going to get you massive overnight gains, but it will result in slow and steady gains that you can sustain really for your whole life. And that's what this is all about. So that's volume or amount of sets to do each week. What about frequency or how often you should be doing those sets throughout your week? One study showed that nine sets done once per week grew muscle. So they did all nine sets of a an exercise in one workout. And then they examined that against another group who did three to four sets once per week. The group that did nine sets in one workout grew muscle, whereas the groups that did three to four sets in one workout only maintained their muscle. So lower volume routines done once per week may only maintain muscle, while if you're only going to work out once per week or work that muscle group once per week, you need higher volumes. What if you take the same amount of volume, so let's say nine sets, and spread it throughout your week? So another study examined this. One group in the study did three sets three times per week, and the other group did nine sets once per week. So the volume or the overall amount of work was equated. They were doing the same amount of overall sets within one week's period. It's just that one group did it three times per week, so three sets three times per week, and one group did all nine sets in one workout. What they found was that both groups build muscle, but the higher frequency group, the group that trained three times per week, showed double the gains as the group that trained nine sets in one workout. The authors suggest that more frequency allows for higher quality work. When they had fewer sets in one workout, fatigue was lower and they could lift heavier and do more reps. So this is because the higher frequency group could do more total work. They just saw better results because their quality of work was higher. Dose response is not linear. So later sets in a workout create a much smaller stimulus than earlier sets in the workout. And that's something that we say all the time. The first couple of sets of your workouts are really the most stimulating since fatigue is the lowest and motor recruitment is the highest. You can really kind of feel this for yourself. You likely will feel stronger in the first half of your workout than you do in the second half. So the first half is really that high quality half of your workout. And then you might start to see diminishing returns as you get more fatigued. So greater frequency is likely important. You still can see gains by working a muscle group once per week, but you may have to have higher volume in that workout. Whereas if you do fewer sets per workout, but spread them throughout your week, you could potentially see better results and have an easier time recovering. This is why we work most major muscle groups on two days per week on non-consecutive days. In each workout, we're doing three to five sets per muscle group, so the total volume per muscle group is four to eight sets for the week. So that's the science on volume and frequency. With that in mind, how many days per week should you strength train? If you are doing full body, you could get away with training as little as twice per week and doing at least two sets for each muscle group, preferably three to four sets, per muscle group in both of those workouts. So maybe you're working out Tuesday and Friday. And in both of those classes or in both of those workouts, you're working every muscle in your body for two rounds, at least preferably three to four rounds. So that the total volume is anywhere from four to eight sets per muscle group, just divided into two separate workouts. We don't have a track for working out twice a week because it really isn't my preference. The workouts just get really long, like a workout like that might take an hour or an hour and a half, and fatigue starts to set in. And like I said earlier, the second half of your workout is really less stimulating and less effective, so you might start to see diminishing returns. But it definitely is an option for you to do on your own if that's something that works the best in your schedule and it's really something you're going to commit to the most. You can also work out three times per week, so working each muscle two-ish times for three to four sets per muscle group. This is the three time per week track that we have in Evlo. This will make the workouts a bit shorter than if you were working out twice a week since the work is now spread over three workouts instead of two. 
Again, we have an Evlo track for this. Many of the runners like this track so that they can strength train three days a week, still get the same amount of volume as our five time per week track, but then they can add their runs in on other four days. So again, the three time per week track is available. It's not my preference. It's not what the majority of the membership chooses. Again, because the workouts are longer and fatigue is a lot higher in those longer workouts, but it is an option if you need it. My preference is to strength train four or five days per week. I like this because you're spreading the work across the week. You won't see as much fatigue in each workout, so you get really high quality work to each muscle group. It's way easier to show up for because the workouts aren't draining and they're much shorter. So here's the bottom line from this episode. We get carried away with what's optimal, but what is the point of optimizing if it makes you crash and burn? What is the point of optimizing if you get hurt all the time? What is the point of optimizing if you feel like you have no flexibility to go on vacation or skip a workout or have more time in your life? I gave you the research and my preferences, but really don't overthink things. We get a lot of questions about, can I do this or can I do that? The truth is, try it. Your body will very quickly tell you if it's not a good fit. If you start to feel achy or overly fatigued or like you're not recovering, If that's the case, adjust your routine. Maybe pull back, try a different volume, try a different frequency, see what works the best for you. We created the Evlo schedules because they do work for the majority of people, the three, four, or five time per week track, but feel free to play around with it. And if you're curious, play around with the frequency, play around with your volume and see how it works for you. Hope that was helpful. We'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Bye for now.